We can choose to press forward with a better model of cooperation and integration, or we can retreat into a world sharply divided and ultimately in conflict along age-old lines of nation and tribe and race and religion. President Obama addressing leaders from around the world for his final time in office, wrestling with humanity's biggest struggles, greed, inequality, authoritarianism, intolerance, and calling out what he sees as the causes, even within America. Religious fundamentalism, the politics of ethnicity or tribe or sect, aggressive nationalism, a crude populism, sometimes from the far left, but more often from the far right, which seeks to restore what they believe was a better, simpler age, free of outside contamination. False populism is a phrase the president has used before to describe Donald Trump's words. And he made more than one, more than obvious reference to the big choice America is facing. Today, a nation ringed by walls would only imprison itself. And the world is too small for us to simply be able to build a wall. But the president also saved rebuke for the leaders and countries that deny their citizens freedom. History shows that strong men are then left with two paths. Permanent crackdown, which sparks strife at home, or scapegoating enemies abroad, which can lead to war. He called out North Korea for its nuclear tests, Russia for taking over its neighbor, in a world that left the age of empire behind, we see Russia attempting to recover lost glory through force. And China for militarizing islands in the South China Sea. A peaceful resolution of disputes offered by law will mean far greater stability than the militarization of a few rocks and reefs. With the world watching, President Obama made a sweeping case for liberal democracy. Sitting in a prison cell, a young Martin Luther King Jr. wrote that human progress never rolls on the wheels of inevitability. It comes through the tireless efforts of men willing to be co-workers with God. This is what I believe, that all of us can be co-workers with God.